Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. Look, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is Richard from Welsh Tech, and today we have another AIO from PC Cooler. This time it is the DT360 ARGB display. Okay, so this is the PC Cooler DT360 ARGB display. Yes, yeah, got a display. It's got this is their highest end AIO. So let's open it up and have a look. So what we're going to do first was actually show you the screen. Now this is the screen. It's a magnetic screen, as you can see. There's the magnets at the back. Now let's have a look at the accessories first. Okay. So they've got all the things you need. It's got the cable to connect up the display. It's got thermal paste, all the mounting brackets you need. This then actually, what the hell is this? Oh look. Oh, all right. Okay. So it's a hub. Oh, that's cool. It's an ARGB hub, actually. Wow, look how many ARGB... Wow, you can fit up loads of uh, fans on this and ARGB fan. Wow. Well, that's handy to come in with it. Yeah. Oh, and then it comes, look, with the cable as well. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. Not many brands actually include a fan controller, so that's quite neat. Let's get the AIO out and I'll be back. Okay, so here are the fans. Now, yes, these are all connected together from what you can see, but there, they're all interchangeable. They're all connected through a daisy chain, through just normal PWM as well as ARGB, which is fantastic to see. There's the connections but there on the side. So how you'd uh, take this off, I don't know, but it looks like, yeah, it does. It looks like they would come off like that, and I'm assuming the screws are under here. Yeah, screws are under there. So yeah, very nice looking fans, quite nice. There's the block up there. That's the base there, quite big. It's already got the mount in for Intel. Like this does support, uh, obviously, all the Intel and AMD. This does have ARGB and it is a four pin PWM for the pump, which is fantastic. That's awesome. The Now, when it comes to the display, this, this little screen by here, now, it only goes one way, but the best thing about this, obviously, is it is magnetic on it. That's quite cool. So you can put it anywhere you want, upside down. Uh, yeah, just upside down all like that. That's quite cool. I like it. That's quite cool. Now, the top of this doesn't come off, but that's okay. Now, let's get into some of the specifications. Okay, for, for the screen, this is a 3.4-inch uh, IPS dis uh, panel. The display resolution is 480 by 480, so not bad. It's going to look really nice. Now, as for the radiator, the dimensions are 394 by 120 by 27. That's been the thickness. The uh, tube length is 400 millimeters. It's got a ceramic bearing on the pump. The pump speed is 2600 RPM with a max noise of 15 decibels. It's four pin PWM, it's 12 volt DC. It is a 0 0.3 amp ARGB, five volt three pin, and the lighting max amperage is 0 0.28 amps, and the fans are three included, which are 120 by 120, but they are 28 millimeters. So they aren't the thinnest fans but that's be actually be starting to become a standard actually to be honest so that's okay the bearing types a ball bearing it's got a range between 500 and 3000 rpm wow that's going to be very very uh, quick the airflow is 83 point cfm so that's not bad the noise ring uh, the start pressure actually is 5.7 millimeter here so wow that's one of the lot that's one of the largest Stack pressure I've ever seen. The noise range between 15 and 31.1 dB. Now, it is a 4-pin PWM. It's rated for 12-volt uh, DC. The max current is 0 0.38 amps, and it's a RGB, which is fantastic. So let's get this installed and have a look, shall we? Okay, so this is the installation. Now, as for what bracket you use, it actually just comes with an Intel or an AMD ba uh, bracket itself. This will just screw down to the back plate already on AM5 because this is AM5, so specifically for this. But this is exactly the same thing with Intel, but this does come with an included Intel bracket. So what you want to do really is this. Now, you want it to go from that side to like this. And then what you do is you push in like that, and then you push it in like that. Now, installation, of course, you're going to need thermal paste. Now, this is... Uh, polymer therm. This is the 
paste I use, this is the X10, so I just want to play it. The application's going to be very uh, different for everyone. Some people like doing a little dot or whatever. I just put a line just so it's even spread. Now, what you want to do really is actually get a magnetic screwdriver because this is actually going to help you more. But what you really want to do is get it lined up. Screw one side first so it catches. Screw this side so it catches like that and then you just continue the process both all four sides so like that then you start back to the one you started with like that so you want even tension each side because this will become the best uh, spread in because this will give it even pressure each side and then you just go down so that's done like that like that and like that that's quite easy that's done now the is by there right there that's where the pump is so the cpu and the pump go here they will have labels on your motherboards of course but yeah now as for the screen now as this is a magnetic screen as you can see it does connect by usb type c the type c connection is actually down here in a usb 2 port which is one by here and this will connect underneath like that and all you do really is this. Now, I would suggest doing it this way for cable management reasons. And that's pretty much it. Now, cable management's obviously going to be varied. Uh, it's going to be dependent on how much uh, time and effort you really want to put into it. But best thing about this being uh, detachable, you could just take it off, essentially. So that's pretty much for the installation part. This is the DT360 from PC Cooler. This is the fan to 50% fan speed. Pretty much silent at 50%. This is 100% fan speed. Well, at 100%, these are definitely very loud. Okay, so this is the software and I will make sure to put an overlay here so you can actually see the software being used while I'm doing it with the screen. Now, you can adjust the brightness. The brightness control is by here. You can change it from, well, 10 to 100. You can rotate the screen itself as well from 0 degrees to 90, as you can see there. Then you can go 180 or you can go 270 degrees. Now, I will say it's very snappy. The software part now file manager by here this would be where you put a gif in that is how you would do it or if you press start edit now this will have different themes already pre-installed now as you can see i've already got some already done but you can adjust all of it now i haven't done a full like use case of the software because the software is not the easiest because as you can see, there's a lot of different functions. Uh, personally, yeah, it's not my favorite, but you can edit the themes, you can import, you can do delete, delete then. And then when it comes to like adding your own theme, what you would do is you can add text, data, curved strip, status bar, chart, icon, line, and then that's, that's it pretty much. But you can change the background from a gift or you can put in an MP4 which if I use with there, go back, if I go to select, but there, switch background, you'll see this automatically just work. See, very quick. I will say the display is rather, very, very nice. And also the software is very snappy. I will say that for them, the software is very, very quick to actually use. As you can see, look how quick that was. That is just bonkers. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of software out there, especially like from Deepcool, uh, from Valkyrie and stuff. A lot of them aren't this quick. So I will say that for them. This is a very quick software. But yes, you can add your own GIFs, MP4s, you can 
pretty much customize it as much as you want okay so when it comes to the overall system used for testing it is on my am5 platform it is in ryzen 9 7900 with pbo enabled it's got 32 gigs of ddr5 from a pacer it's a b650 motherboard from msi it does have a rx 7800 xt nitro from sapphire it also have a, has a thousand watt cooling power supply and it is housed in the be quiet shadow base 800 fx with four 140 millimeter light wing fans now when it comes to the testing the testing methods are the same it's exactly the same as i use in every single aio or cpu cooler i do 50 percent and 100 percent fan speed but before we get there here is the room temperature so i recorded the room temperature at 18 celsius before testing and after testing it did go up by two degrees so to 20 okay so when it comes to 50% fan speed, the overall CPU power draw at high was 163 watts with a low at 151. The CPU clocks were high at 5.4 and the low was 5.1. Now, as for Cinebench R23, the idles were 37 Celsius with a max of 86. Blender Pavilion, idles 37 with a max of 86 again. Blender Classroom, idles 37 with a max of 87. And 3D Mark Super Test, idles 37 with a max of 75 Celsius. Now, for 100% fan speed, this is the, it's all fans that it that does include the ones pre installed in the case as well, running at 100% fan speed. And also, you need to realize that the testing for these tests are normalized, they're running for about 20 minutes to leave the AIO fully saturated. So, for 100% fan speed, the CPU powder are high was already up went up to high at 166 watts but did go down low to 152 now the cpu clocks were exactly the same at high at 5.4 and low at 5.1 so you're not really losing any performance or any actual performance on the cpu when it comes to that now as for the cinebench r23 the idles have already come down to 35 celsius and the maxes have already come down as well down to 83 celsius it's exactly the same for blender pavilion idles are 35 with a max of 83 and then blender classroom did come down slightly at the maxes the idles are 35 with a max of 82 and 3d mark super test the idles with exactly the same at 35 but the maxes did come down by five degrees and that was at 70 celsius so what i'm going to do right here is put up a graph showing you the overall comparison between different aios with screens now of course i haven't done many aios with screens but the ones i have done i will include in this graph it will show you the ones from thermalright from deep cool from yes any other one that i've actually had with screens then i will include it that will also include like the other ones for pc cooler as well so remember that these tests are done exactly the same so they run for the exact same tests and i do run them for the exact same amount of time aios about 20 minutes and cpu coolers of course are about 10 minutes so yeah this is where the graph will show up right now okay then so what do you think of that now look there's uh there's a lot of information in this video but what i'm really gonna tell you is i like this aio i like the overall feet the finish i do like the overall design i like the overall aesthetics as well the fans i do like the rgb illumination with the ring inside the fan i think that's a very nice touch it's not in your face and it's not too much now the connectors i love the fact that they are standard argb and pwm connectors i like the fact that the fans come pre-installed and they're pre-cable managed which is fantastic that is what you want also the pump is a four pin pwm which considering the year 2025 not all brands do that which is absolutely stupid when brands don't do uh, use the standard which i reckon p four pin pwm for pumps especially should be standard in the year 2025 when brands don't use it it really does bug me because i think it's a standard that's been around for a while now and it should be used as that standard i like the overall screen i like the fact that it's detached i do like the the overall look of the the display as well on this it does look really nice um i'm not overly fond of the software it's basic yes it's quite easy to navigate 
you can utilize it of course in where, uh, many ways that people do comment on other, all my other videos of AIOs or screens you know can you upload a gif or can you upload an mp4 yes you can upload a video as well uh, but remember that it is only down to like a 30 second or something like that when it comes to the mp4s the it will you can use gifts on this as well so that's okay the fan design i do like the fans the fans are really nice the rgb isn't too much in your face and quite honestly i really like this aio i think it looks fantastic and this is their their top end aio so whether you want to buy that or not that's up to you but this gets richard from welshy tech stamp of approval because i think it's a good package it has a fantastic feature set for what you get and if i can find a link for you guys to use i will find a link and i will make sure to put it in the description now make sure you subscribe because i've got absolute tons of stuff coming i've got stuff here i've got stuff coming i've got absolute tons of content coming so make sure you subscribe this is richard for welsh tech i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you good bye